In this demo, we will use the LIS331 SPI Digital 3-Axis Accelerometer Sensor from SparkFun. This sensor will connect to the Raspberry Pi using the SPI bus. We will demonstrate how to work with this sensor, make measurements, and build a simple orientation sensor based on the measurements. The first step, of course, is to connect the SPI sensor. So in the case of the SPI sensor, we'll be working with the Raspberry Pi pins labeled 9, 10, and 11 here on this portion of the Raspberry Pi header. In order to connect the device correctly, we need to connect the SDA, SAO, and SCL pins to the pins 10, 9, and 11, respectively. And of course, we also need to connect the CS pin to the CEO pin GPO8, which is over here on this side. And then finally, we need to make our power and ground connections. And I have a 3.3 volt sensor here, so I need to be sure that I connect to the 3.3 volt power supply and not to the 5 volt power supply. And the diagram on the bottom here shows you the jumper from the pinout of the breakout board for the LIS331. So pins 1 through 8 here represent uh, the left side of the column here, and then on the right side is represented by the diagram on the right. Okay, so if, you co if you've connected everything correctly, it should look something like this. And here you can see the wires uh, connecting our SPI sensor. Okay, so let's go into MATLAB. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is establish a connection to our Raspberry Pi by typing my Pi equals Raspberry Pi. Mat well, MATLAB will return and show that it's found the Raspberry Pi device and established a connection. Uh, it shows us the device address. It shows us the available digital pins. It shows us the available SPI channels and the I squared C buses as well as the I squared C bus speed. Okay, you may find that when you, uh, if you were to try this, that you do not see the SPI channels. Um, that is because by default, the SPI channels are not enabled. Um, there is a command called enable SPI, and you pass it the MyPi, which is the object representing your Raspberry Pi, and that will enable the SPI channels if they're not enabled when you start your script. The next thing we need to do is create a... Um, acceleration sensor object. So we want to create an object that represents that actual sensor. So to do this, um, we use the LIS331 class that comes with this example. We type AC equals LIS331. We pass it MyPi and CEO, because that's the particular SPI channel that we're using. That establishes uh, a connection with the sensor, and it shows us that the data rate is set at 50, the accelerometer sensitivity is set at plus or minus 6G, and um, we can now basically take readings uh, from this sensor. So uh, this LIS331 uh, class basically does all the heavy lifting. The, if you were to look at the data sheet for this particular digital sensor, you'll find there's a lot of different registers that represent uh, different information that you can get from this device. Um, this basically does all that for you and provides the conversion so that you get um, the answer in engineering units, which in this case are G. So we'll get uh, the answer in terms of gravity. So let's uh, now uh, read the acceleration. So this, since this is a three-axis accelerometer, we need to actually give it three values. So X, Y, and Z. And the command for reading the acceleration is ac.read acceleration, like that. And you'll see, now we have three readings um, with X, Y, and Z accelerations. Now my sensor is kind of upside down here. I can hold it a different way, and you'll see if I hold it, I get different readings. And if I hold it completely flat, you can see the Z, the Z reading is now getting higher, cl closer and closer to um, 0.9 there. Um, and Basically, I'm getting updates on the X and Y readings as well. OK, so what we want to do next is we want to try to build a, a simple orientation sensor using this device. So I've written a script called Orientation Example, and I'm going to step through that script. First, I'm going to open it up in the editor. And what this uh, script does, it actually has uh, two basic parts. The first part is it's going to 
this is just a plotting uh, command here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a simple rectangular box, which represents my sensor. And then I am going to connect the uh, display to correspond to the readings coming from the accelerometer. So to do that, basically what I'm doing is I'm using MATLAB to compute the pitch uh, from the acceleration data. That's this line here, 24. And then I'm also computing the roll from the acceleration data. And I'm using that to drive my display. So this will all make sense when I run the example. Um, so let's do that, and I will show you how this all works. So let's run this orientation example. So there's the box without anything connected to it. And now it's press enter when ready. So now it's getting ready for me to uh, drive that display with the accelerometer. So I'll press enter when ready. I just press enter. And now you can see here, if I move the sensor left and right, the other dimension, back and forth. If I bang on the table, you can see it's sensitive to that as well. Um, so we basically used the accelerometer to drive this display. So it's a simple orientation sensor um, using the accelerometer on the Raspberry Pi. OK. So to summarize, we just demonstrated how you can acquire data from an SPI digital sensor connected to your Raspberry Pi. You can record acceleration measurements, and you can calculate pitch and roll to build a simple orientation sensor. The MATLAB functions available with this example will decode the acceleration data.